Hey option traders! For today's trade, we are looking at a neutral option play in healthcare stock in Dow Jones component United Health. So the stock has been drifting sideways since it reclaimed its 50-day line in recent weeks. Shares also retested support at this level on Tuesday, but held above it. This is a good sign as a close below this level would have been a red flag. The stock is also back above its 50735 buy point of a double bottom base. Shares originally broke out from this level on June 27th. United Health is expected to report earnings on Friday, July 15th, and this could have an impact on the stock as earnings tend to be a catalyst for big moves either way. With United Health's higher than normal volatility, the stock could be a good candidate for an iron condor trade. An iron condor is a risk-defined strategy, which means that you know your maximum loss potential ahead of time, and it's also not going to be unlimited. The strategy is made up of two credit spreads, a bull put credit spread and a bear call credit spread. So remember with options, there are two types of options. There are calls and puts. With both calls and puts, you can either be a buyer or a seller. Just like with any stock, you can either buy long or sell short. So both bear call credit spreads and bull put credit spreads are made up of one short option and one long option. Both credit spreads allow the seller to collect a premium upfront for initiating the trade. For the iron condor, we're putting on both a call credit spread and a put credit spread at the same time. Again, each spread is made up of two option contracts. So that's four option contracts in total for the iron condor. This is a great way to get exposure to a stock without taking directional risk. Iron condors are neutral trades where the underlying assumption is that the stock will not move in either direction, up or down, to a large extent before the expiration of the trade. Iron condors serve to take advantage of a volatility contraction in a given stock. So for example, like when a stock is going into earnings. Put simply, this trade is ideal to use when an underlying stock has higher than normal volatility. These strategies benefit from the passage of time and any decreases in implied volatility. So by combining a bull put credit spread and a bear call credit spread, they create a spread of spreads that is the iron condor. So both the calls and puts are on the same underlying stock and have the same expiration date but each leg of the trade has a different strike price, and that creates the range. The distance between the strike prices for both the bear call spread and the bull put spread should be the same. That symmetry keeps the trade non-directional. The investor can expect a profit or a loss on the iron condor based on where the stock finishes within that range upon the expiration date. So let's take a look at my trading platform and set up a, a trade, an iron condor in United Health. So here we are on my Thinkorswim dashboard and we're gonna take a look at UNH, an iron condor in UNH. And if you're on Thinkorswim, you'll select iron condor in the spread type box here and that'll make it easier to set up the trade. We're gonna be looking at stocks with the August 19th expiration. And I will select and kind of select any one of these uh, because we will end up changing uh, all of the elements down here. So for this trade, we are looking to sell the 470 put and buy the 460 put. So 470 put and buy the 460 put. And for the call side of the trade, we are looking to sell the 550 call and buy the 560. So just again, one more time to recap this clearly. Here we are looking to buy one 560 call, sell one 550 call. We are looking to buy one 460 put 
and sell one for 70 put. Each of these have the same expiration, that's August 19th, and they are all obviously in UNH stock. Using the August 19th expiration, we could sell the 470 put and buy the 460 put. This creates the put credit spread part. Then to create the call credit spread part, we're going to sell the 550 call and buy the 560 call. In total, this iron condor will generate around $3.75 per contract. The profit zone ranges between 466.25 and 553.75. This can be calculated by taking the short strikes and adding or subtracting the premium received. As both spreads are $10 wide, the maximum risk in this trade can be calculated by taking 10 and subtracting 375 or the premium per contract multiplied by 100, which equals $625. That's the maximum you can lose in this trade. Now, if we take the premium of 375 and divide it by the maximum risk of 625, this iron condor trade has the potential to return 60%. If price action stays neutral, then the iron condor will work very well. One way to set a stop loss for an iron condor is based on the premium received. So in this case, we received 375 in premium. So we could set a stop loss equal to the premium or a loss of around 375. Another way to manage the trade is to set a point on the chart where the trade will be adjusted or will be closed. That could be around 480 on the downside and 510 on the upside. As always, remember that if you're new to options, make sure you practice with a virtual account before risking any real capital. And remember that options are complex and investors can lose 100% or more of their investment. So be sure to check out investors.com slash options for more option trading tips. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you wanna watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.